On Jewish holidays, there's a mitzvah, a commandment of Simchat Yom Tov, to experience the joy of the day. Now, many have described Simchat Yom Tov as Ein Simcha Ela Im Basar V'yayin. There is no joy except with meat and wine. However, some have tried to explain that that exhausts the positions of Jewish law, that one can only experience joy on Jewish holidays through the consumption of meat. This is clearly not the case. In Pesachim, on the 109th page, Rabbi Yehuda ben Patera says, when there is no temple, we fulfill joy just through wine. And also in Pesachim 71a and Baba Batra 60b, we learn that we experience joy through clean clothes and through drinking of wine. Even further, the Poskim, the Jewish legal authorities, the Ritva, the Rashbash, the Beit Yosef, the Magi, and Avraham, hold that there is no longer an obligation to eat meat to experience joy on holidays. Even further, Tosfot and the Ran explain there was not even a chiyuv, not even an obligation when the temple stood. So somewhere along the lines, we got lost by saying that one could only experience the joy of holidays through the consumption of meat. And I want to share that those who are vegetarians and believe in ethical calling to not to consume meat anytime, not even on holidays, that there is good Jewish legal position to back you. And that the Rambam ultimately explains that we must avoid simchat kreso, a joy of the stomach, to try to experience an elevated joy through merely consuming meat is a perversion of the tradition, I want to suggest. Ultimately, Rambam explains that Simchat Yom Tov is fulfilled by inviting others to our table to give food to the hungry. Ultimately, the joy of the holidays is actualized by being more inclusive to create a just and holy society. I want to encourage everyone to reconsider Simchat Yom Tov, the joy of Jewish holidays, to not be fulfilled through the consumption of meat and substance, a joy of the stomach, but rather as a time to actualize our giving, to create a more just, ethical, and holy world.